in the previous segment uh, we discussed simple linear regression where we had one independent variable and that was something other than time and we used that independent variable to forecast demand for future so our forecast was the dependent variable or phi we can have more than one independent variables as well so in that case we can uh, forecast the demand for future by using this equation for multiple linear regression so we can have two or more than two independent variables and of course corresponding values for for slopes so for example we take the same example but add another independent variable so the same example that we saw for simple linear regression so let's read it a maker of personalized golf shirts has been tracking the relationship between sales advertising dollars and number of marketing teams so we have added one independent variable so uh, these sales are your dependent variable y advertising dollars is x1 and number of marketing teams is x2 and we have this data for the past four years use linear regression to find out what sales would be if the company invested sixty thousand dollars in advertising for next year and uses six sales teams so if this investment is sixty thousand dollars and six sales teams are used what we can expect here what could be the forecasted sale value in dollars so we have the same data here so we have uh, the past sales data we have past amount spent on advertising and number of marketing teams so we are interested to forecast the demand for fifth year if we spend a sixty thousand dollar on advertising and we use uh, six marketing teams so we can use same data analysis option in excel then regression and we have to select the y and x range so our input y range will be sales dollars column so let's do it again so that will be this column then we have to select input x range so we have these three columns and then we have to select the output range so here we want to get the output select ok so we have found the intercept and then two values for the slope the b1 and b2 so this forecast value will be equal to this intercept plus this b1 that is the slope for uh, advertising dollars and corresponding x1 value will be the 60 plus b2 into number of marketing teams that is 6 so in this way we can sales for the next year so that turns out to be around 164 thousand dollars now of course we can play with these values so for example during decision making we decide to say decrease uh, the investment on advert advertisements so we make 8000 and increase the number of teams to 7 
So there will be slight decrease uh, in the expected sales or if we decide to spend some more money uh, on advertisements and have fewer numbers of teams so we can have an increase its value. So of course we can uh, check different what if scenarios to, to make the final decisions regarding these two variables. And you can see here as well that uh, let's undo the changes. So you can see here that the value of R square is a high value that is 98.68%. So that is showing that the model is very strong and we, we can actually predict the uh, sales using these two variables. Thank you.